what's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another Raman and Flash review. Captivate as promised, We're working with Apex 5.3 today. Um, to begin with, uh, it's a fantastic ROM and uh, you know I haven't covered it yet so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, to start we've got the typical 5 icon dock below which does support landscape which is something I like to see out of the box. It really bugs me when I see the 3 dock gingerbread Launcher, I know it's easy to change, but you know, I just if I'm a developer, I like to have landscape support for my launchers. Um, this uh, ROM does have SD card read speed fix thanks to Kimocal. Updated all the apps to their latest versions, so Google Maps, Market, and whatnot, like that. Let me go ahead and adjust the um, actual timeout here. Uh, and while I do that, we can take a look at some of the options. Um, the brightness is all the way up, that's great, and the timeout we can change to 10 minutes. For the unlock screens, you've got the typical five unlocks, Android Glass, Puzzle, Epic, and Rotary. Stay around for a little bit later in this review and I'll show you guys one of the cool unlock screen mods that you can flash. Um, you can check out the link to XTA developers for the thread, download, um, zip files, and all that. And in that thread you can actually find out a lot about the uh, the options that you can you can do theming you can do a lot of mods and we'll show you a, a little glimpse of that a little later on uh, obviously the launcher is the uh, TouchWiz launcher um, with the landscape support which was added by GTG 465X typically TouchWiz does not have landscape support although it, I think it's a great launcher uh, being TouchWiz it has the horizontal based scrolling so you'll be on a horizon versus vertical based. Uh, one of the apps to mention it does have from MyUI is the MyUI Music app. So those of you that like the big finger friendly MyUI Music app, there it is. It also supports SGS tools out of the box. It's obviously pre-rooted and um, you know it's it's got a small amount of theming going along with it too. We've got the green gingerbread style uh, notifications up top as well as the icons there. The pull down is not a transparent pane glass but yet a darker gingerbread looking um, notification bar. It's a very fast ROM. It's somewhat stripped, but somewhat uh, it has a lot of cool things too, so it's kind of hard to put a label on what type of ROM it is. Uh, the dialer kind of has a little bit of theming to it with a gingerbread orange um, highlight feature, so it's a black looking dialer, much like the blacked out theme that we'll be showing you a little bit later on. Lag fix is enabled by default for a much smoother UI. Uh, it's got call recording, the Fuji tweet, Fugu tweaks. Uh, it's um, also got the stay awake while charging option and a ton of other things such as the JPA drivers. Now this is JS8 based which is a pretty recent 2.2.1 build uh, for the source. Um, as for the kernel, it's obviously running the speed mod kernel which most Captivate ROMs do. Uh, so we went to about phone, you can find out more about that. JK4 modem speed mod kernel. It's Apex 5.3 based on JS8. So, in comparison to what we showed you yesterday with Firefly, a lot of it's the same, but it's actually based on a different build from a 2.2.1 versus a KB1 uh, Rogers sourced um, base. So, a couple differences there. Also, check out the post on our website. Uh, we are looking for ideas for a new segment. I've got three current ideas. Uh, my segments would be either uh, Clash of the Kernels, which I would review all the top kernels in a particular device, uh, pretty much be bi-weekly or monthly for the segment, um, depending on the kernel development, obviously. The second idea was what's on my phone. It would be a segment in which I show you guys what's on my personal phone, what I like to use, some of the new things that I've found, some of the things that I'd recommend, so pretty much app reviews. Um, and then uh, accessories and more, accessory corner, whatever I would call that. And I would review cases, uh, chargers, add-ons, accessories, and things like that. So check that out. Uh, you can find a link to that in the post below, or check us out on Facebook or Twitter, and you can find a link to that uh, post on our website. Um, so enough shameless blogging there. It's got ad blocking built in on this ROM. The GPS is very good, and as a matter of fact, I'll break away right now to show you guys the GPS. Okay, this is going to be much harder than I thought in the daytime. Definitely should leave these two at night. Let's open up Chartcross GPS, which is GPS test. Fantastic app that I use. It's a cold start. Oh, that came out okay. I've got a nice uh, colored UI. So GPS is on, and we will await satellites here. So we've got one. This isn't quite as fair as the other one since I'm holding it. Putting my hand over it. Three, 
Uh, but as you can see, we're pulling them in okay. This is Wi-Fi uh, tracking turned off. So we've got four. Let me see if I can do something like this. Let's see, as soon as I get it off my lap, five, six, and nine. All right, so there we go. We got GPS in only a matter of seconds. And we can see all our GPS satellites way up there in the little corner as well. So there we go. Back to the review. Okay, so we've already showed you guys the GPS there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the new unlock mod that we just flashed. And we've got Puzzle in place, and this is what Puzzle looks like now. It's a like custom looking lock screen, so it's almost like a fifth lock screen if you don't care for the puzzle. And it's kind of like drag it into the lock, and boom, there it is. So I believe that's the only exception they give you with the HC unlock, but it's still cool nonetheless, and uh, definitely something cool to have. So you can check that out in the XDA developer's thread. In addition to this, let's go ahead and show you guys the uh, black and white theme, the blackout theme. So give us a sec, we'll flash into recovery, and I'll show you guys here in just a moment uh, what that looks like. So the phone power back up. Can you guys hear my baby crying in the background with mom trying to settle him down? Choose zip and we'll go with blackout theme. There's a couple different themes. I just went with the blackout theme. Uh, it does say 5.2, so let's see what happens if we flash to 5.3, but we shouldn't see a problem. And uh, that's done. We'll go back and we'll reboot system now. As soon as that becomes available. There it is. And I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. I wanted to capture the boot animation. It's the typical Google X with the awesome colors. It's a really cool animation. Sorry about that. Kick the tripod. Um, but cool nonetheless. I wanted to show you guys that since we skipped it in the beginning. So give me just a sec and this will be booted back up. As since we flashed a theme, it's going to take as long as the initial boot. So I'm going to set this down and we'll speed this up for you guys to catch us up to the real deal. Okay, so we're back after our theming, and this is what it's gonna look like. We'll go ahead and select one of the TouchWiz launchers as our default. And this is the blackout theming. Now, what I mean by blackout is everything up top is monochrome. Uh, even the background has a monochrome look. All the settings options are monochrome, and I believe the dialer also is as well. Yeah, so everything is black and white, so it's a blacked out theme, something cool, something to look at. There's some other themes in the thread as well, but if you like that, maybe it's your deal, and it's an awesome option to have. So this is Apex 5.3. Be sure to donate to your developer. He spent a lot of time creating this ROM, and he appreciates your donations. They drive his development to be better and better. And obviously, it's a great way to show your appreciation. If you feel like donating to us, you can do that as well at the link below. We always appreciate those, and it helps support our cause. So, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, it's Apex 5.3. And keep a lookout for a lot more videos coming very, very soon. Also, don't forget to pick up your Galaxy S Jigs. Great way to get into download mode and help you flash and get out of those hard brick situ or sorry, soft brick situations. Also, I'm offering hard brick fix for free right now. If you have a brick to captivate that will not power on at all, let me know. I'll pay you to send it to me and I'll pay to send it back. And for the first two or three, I'm looking for practice runs and I'd like to do those for free for you guys. So check us out on mobiletechvideos.com. Contact me about brick captivates. Remember that we still have the jigs and lots of other stuff available over at the website. And you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Be sure to like or follow us and subscribe to us here on YouTube. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next video which is coming up very, very soon.